According to AFP, the second black box from the German wing's plane crash has been found. Former NTSB chairman Mark Rosenker joins us now on the phone. And Mark, can tell us what are they hoping to find or hear from this second black box, if it's still actually able to find anything out from it at all? Good point, Meg. Uh, this was not protected by the shell. Apparently, it had come come loose and separated. So the real question will be: is, Are the electronics uh, good enough to be able to uh, uh, download a signal, a signal which then could be read and then analyzed? Uh, we will learn that, I'm sure, in a relatively short period of time. Uh, these devices, this uh, electronic box, will be sent back to Paris, where they will try to make sure that they can get this information out. If, in fact, they are successful, we will know if uh, uh, the first officer uh, actually changed the altitude and reset uh, the altitude by hand, was excuse me, into the autopilot, or if he was actually flying the aircraft by hand or a combination of both. Uh, we will learn about the performance of the aircraft. We will know if the engines were working properly. We will know the speed at which this aircraft was descending. We'll know the attitude and the altitude at every moment, and that will also marry that up with the cockpit voice recorder to get the exact picture of what was going on in that last 10 minutes. It sounds like, Mark, if that data is recovered, it could provide a really terrifying look at what happened, especially when you consider uh, how quickly the altitude uh, with this plane changed. Uh, it sounds like these people in the back might have been going through quite a scare as this plane was diving down. Absolutely, Carter. And then, of course, to, uh, to the, for the folks that were up toward the front of the aircraft to see how the pilot was attempting to get in frantically into the flight deck and get through that door and then later uh, watch him uh, attempt to get through that door with uh, devices, whether they were uh, metal devices or, or uh, using the, uh, the cart, whatever. He, uh, he was obviously frantically trying to get onto that flight deck and unfortunately was not able because of the design, which successfully will keep people out. So as you know, Mark, they have um, recovered one of the co-pilot's tablets and they're starting to learn more information about Lubitz. One thing that they're looking to examine, the authorities are looking to examine cockpit entry and psychological screening. What else do they need to scrutinize at this point? They're going to get a great deal of information if that tablet is uh, information is recoverable. Uh, they say that he was looking, uh, studying uh, the door uh, function. Uh, that may have been something to uh, guarantee his confidence that he could keep somebody out uh, by using uh, the various technical techniques uh, that are built into this door. It's incredible to think that, you know, uh, he'd been thinking about this for some time beforehand and planning to take some action. Mark Rosenker, thank you very much for joining us today.